Um, so one of the questions that I had was, uh, can you briefly explain the difference between a business glossary and a data catalog? <clears throat> it, to be fair, there, 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 there's not really consistent language around this, depending on who you're talking to and where you're, and where you're talking to. Um, business glossary is, is, is pretty, you know, definitively defined though as, as something where you've got as, as an, the, uh, um, you might have a few hundred entries um, or maybe a thousand or so entries in the business glossary and, and the objects are specifically, um, you know, a functional forward, a functional first item. So it's the business term for something like what is a customer or what is a, an aged receivable or a, or a whatever. Um, and it, and, and this prime, you know, again, it's focused on getting that, that business, business definition. And we, and it, you, one of the pieces of content is saying like for that particular business item, like a, um, you know, customer satisfaction score or whatever, how do you find that like, information in various technical systems? So it would be able to sort of tie over to technical data. The data catalog, um, from our definition of it, and sometimes people use the term catalog as a broader term and put glossary in the catalog, but I really think of the catalog as, as more of the focusing on the technical side of things, the, including sort of the data system inventory of all the different data systems and the data model information. And the glossary, it, it, this is a really nuanced topic, but I, I think that the data catalog information is something that you link to from the glossary instead of a glossary is something that you link to from the data catalog. Not that you can't, not that you don't actually link to both, but it's more about that um, a business glossary definition is not an attribute of a data model object because there's not many things that are one-to-one. -one. <laughs> with a business glossary definition and a data model object, right? But the um, business glossary definition is something that you know, will link to one or more data model objects as part of their technical definition. And the, a good way to think about that is that a business glossary should survive you changing data systems, right? It, sh it shouldn't have to change if you change your data system because what you mean by customer satisfaction score shouldn't change um, when you change data systems. I mean, maybe like it, it it will because you decide that you're going to go from a numeric to a letter grade or whatever. But either way, like the the, the actual definition of that um, it is it's a business it's a business term. So hopefully that that helps under, understand what what that is. Some people do use catalog as a broad term that encompasses all the features. Um, I like data intelligence as the broad term across all of those things that have catalog and inventory and glossary and all those types of stuff. But it's 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 really you know, the important thing is, like everything we just were talking about, the important thing is if you're talking to a vendor or you're talking to your team, to make sure that you've defined what those things mean for you and within your organization and how you're, how you're using it. So hopefully that was, that was helpful.